flatbed gangsters. What it do? What it do? Get ready to head to Florida, man. Got some new airlines last night. Show them to you real quick. Got some rubber. Yeah, just got these last night. <clears throat> I got that red one replaced probably about uh probably about three weeks ago. And last night, the damn blue one started acting. It was acting up yesterday. And when I finally got parked yesterday, I came back here and messed around with it. And I, I, I bent it like that. When I looked at it, I could see it had a little cut in it. But uh, I tried, I kept messing around with it. Eventually, I just pulled the motherfucker out like that. Whole damn thing came out. It's load right here. See my boat head. This is a load of angle iron. It's going to Tampa, Florida to an inframetals to deliver at 10 o'clock in the morning. I believe we got about 600, maybe 620 miles to go before we get there. So we're gonna run the whole 11 hours out today. We're gonna run the whole 11 hours out today and get on down to Florida. Make it do what it do, flatbed game. Let's do this, gang. Just plugged it in my GPS. I got 615 miles. 10 hours, 25 minutes. Let's get up out of here. I'm about to see a food line truck go by. I done told y'all before about that food line distribution center right down the road from where I parked at. There you go. Food line. That's where my girlfriend works at. Essential workers. We always have an argument about, about who's essential. I, I, tell, I told her, truck drivers are the most essential. She talking about where, warehouse workers too, we essential too. Yeah, we always argue about that about who's the most essential. She don't want to admit it. Truck drivers are essential. I've only picked up one load out of, out of where I'm at now, done. I picked up one load out of here one time. Picked up some fertilizer. Hey, right down the left, you see that truck? Make your career as automatic as our trucks. CDL training roadmaster. Y'all need to get CDLs. Go right there to roadmaster. I, I think they do that accelerated course, probably about three or four weeks. Yeah. Let's get on up out of here, man. I'm gonna show y'all something too while I'm on this road. I talked about it before. You know my loyal subscribers. I don't know if y'all uh y'all y'all probably pay attention to me. Hey man, stop what you're doing, man. Hit, hit the like button right now. Stop what you're doing. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Share this video. Look, we got two food line trucks right here. Two of them. Hey. Hey, I don't know now. My girl might be on to something. Damn food line trucks don't never stop. <laughs> They're just essential as we are. I remember I was talking to somebody at that food line distribution center one time about a job. And um, you only get one weekend off a month. You get you get other days off too. But, but you only get, um, when it comes to the weekend, 
you only get one weekend off. Like you, you could get like, you might be off during like a, uh, what's that, like a, like two days in the week, like Tuesday, Thursday, something like. You might get two days off during the week, but as far as weekends go, you only get uh one weekend off. I was like, man, fuck that. I like doing what I'm doing. Plus, as a lease operator, I make pretty good money. I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to make no uh, eighteen, nineteen hundred every two weeks. I'm trying to get that every week. I love doing what I do, man. And I don't know when I'm gonna stop doing it, but for right now, I love doing it. I love the freedom, man. Being this gives me a lot of freedom. There's another food line truck. And notice all those trucks are day cabs. That's food line distribution to the right. To my right, that's food line distribution. They rebuild or something out there. But that re look like they're rebuilding the um like adding on to another warehouse or something. I told my girl, I said maybe one day they might they might get me to bring some lumber out there or something. But what I was talking about uh, about what I said I was gonna show y'all that that little truck stop that I stopped and parked at. They uh a lot of a lot of the food line trucks parked there. Not, not the day cabs, but like people that bring deliveries there or in and out, like regular trucks, like Swift, US Express, uh, Total, Total Transportation out of Mississippi. I see a lot of them there too. I see a lot of, um, yeah, US Express, Swift, I see a lot of them. They all park at that mom and pop that I park at. Because it's a pilot right here. And I believe this is X71 on 95. It's a pilot right here, straight ahead of me. But coming from this, coming down this road, you can't, you can't go across the highway because they got the damn. They took the whole damn bridge down, tore the whole bridge down. It's probably been down about two months, and they're on, they're rebuilding it. So yeah, it's been, it's been down for a while. See it right here. It says road closed. Got a big crane blocking it. So hey, hey, we ain't we ain't gonna try to we ain't gonna try to go through we ain't gonna try to go through there. <laughs> that's that's the bridge that you just saw. Uh oh, I see they got the frames up for it. They did make the progress, but it's saying it's gonna take a year, It'll take a year to complete it. All right, gang. We're on 95 now. 95 South. Let me merge real quick. Make sure we ain't got nobody coming. Looks like we can merge safely. 95 South. Probably about, about 25 miles from Fayetteville. Yeah, about 25 miles. We got about, about 70 miles before we hit the North Carolina, South Carolina border. And they're also working on the highway right here too. They're making it th uh, three lanes on both sides. And they're doing this done all the way up, to, uh, up around Smithfield. So yeah, we're about, to, we're about to have a lot of traffic coming through this area right here. All right, gang, let's get it. We gotta be in Florida by 10 o'clock tomorrow, but we gonna make it. We gonna make it today. But we gonna... Let's get it.
fill up real quick. I left the house this morning, only had like a half a tank. I knew I was gonna wait till I got to South Carolina to fill up. Cause it's cheaper here. I think it was like 220 a gallon. Up where I stay at, it's like 240. Back on the road, baby. We ain't made it that far yet. Only been driving about an hour and a half, maybe, maybe two hours. Back on the road. You back when I once I can get situated, get parked. Alright. Y'all see the palm trees, don't you? Y'all see it? Guess where I'm at? Truck stop. Just a quick truck wash.
Made it to the truck stop, gang. Got me a quick little truck wash. Now we about to run in here and grab some Denny's. Finally made it, gang. Finally made it. I already said, I already got the tarp, tarps off and the straps and all that. I'll tell y'all what, boy, it's hot down here in Florida. It's so hot, I got down here, I seen all the other truck drivers had shorts on. I said, hell, I had pants on. I had to take them motherfucking pants off. <laughs> I got out for a little about 10 minutes. I said, nah. I can't do that. This guy told me to stay to the left. Now he's telling me to follow him. He told me to left. I'm not sure. I'll wait for him to turn around. Left. I thought, I thought that's what he said. Damn little golf cart he got was in the way. Y'all see that little golf cart? That's what he was driving when he came outside. Hey, I'll tell you, boy, this place right here. Hey, you gotta, when you when you get here, you gotta take a picture of the bills and text it to a number. You can't even walk inside the building. Yeah, they, they on full lockdown. He said, he said it wouldn't take long for me to get unloaded, so we're about to find out. I love Chris Rich. Flatbed gang, we out. I'll be back on the next one. Except we get some loads to camera.